Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Lanka Elliott. I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer from Lagos, Nigeria. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about frequency separation. Yes, I know there are already tons and tons and tons of videos already out there on this particular topic. But hey, this is a YouTube channel on photography and it's not going to be complete if I don't have a video on frequency separation. So frequency separation is a technique that is best known for cleaning and smoothing um, skin in portraits. And I'm not going to go into the whole um, explaining how to do it. I've, there are tons of videos out there. I have created a frequency separation action and I am going to be showing you how I use my action, what, explain what is different of my action. And I'm also going to provide this action in the description below, so enjoy. So I have it here and it's called the frequency separation action up here and most people use um, Gaussian blur in the frequency separation but I t try to use um, I tend to use dust and scratches and um, okay so when you run the action you're gonna get prompted with this where you have this box this is the dust and scratches dialog box and you're just simply going to select your radius now I tend to select a radius between 5 and 25 uh, use five if I'm shooting like maybe like full length or semi full length portraits and maybe between 15 and 25 when I'm shooting um, tight clothes headshots since this is a beauty portrait I am going to select 15 now take always remember the um, radius that you select because it's going to really be important later and then you simply click OK and let the action do its thing there we go so now we have our tones here and our textures in here and we also have a curves layer here and I'm going to explain what that's for. So um, we're going to go to our tones layer, um, the second one, the tones layer retouch, that's the one we're going to be working on because we want to retouch non-destructively. In case we make a mistake we can simply just delete that layer and create a new one. And then we're going to take the lasso tool and we are going to make sure we feather, we usually feather between 5 to 10 pixels. So I'm going to feather with maybe 8 pixels here. All right, press enter and then take the lasso tool. And then I'm simply going to zoom into areas of um, that kind of blotchy or the transitions are not smooth. And I'm going to make a rough selection like that. You can see here it's darker, it's bright. I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur by the same amount of pixels that I selected in the radius, which is 15. And I'm going to press OK. So if I turn that off and on, you can see that it's kind of smoothing that out and what else I can also redo that again if I want to smoothen a bit more but instead of going to filter blur Gaussian blur again all I can see is like over here this um, command F or control F if you're working on the PC that was simply going to apply the last filter that you run so all I have to do is now press command F and I can work much faster like this and this also this method doesn't require a Wacom tablet you can simply use a mouse which is why I try to prefer this was the method I was using long before I got a Wacom tablet that's not to say you shouldn't get a Wacom tablet having a Wacom tablet is very important so I'm just going to start going around and trying to smoothen most of those areas I'm going to come to the neck I usually just I don't have a pattern to how I select my areas just Anywhere that looks oh, okay, I press the F button. So I'm gonna go back there. Anywhere that looks like I have done. Try not to get too close to the edges. Come, oops. Make another selection. All right. Try it over here. Try and blur that out. If, I'm working really fast here, but if I was actually, this is from that space here, so I'll probably zoom in and really get it in there. So let's zoom out now and let's see what we've done. Here, you can see that. 
they really got in there and they've really smoothened out the skin tones and maintained the original texture. Now, the texture layer, the way the texture layer works is we're going to turn off both tones on the background layer and now we can start to see the texture. And, but if you can't really see it, that's what this curves layer is for. If you turn it on, it kind of serves as a check layer. So you can now add a bit more contrast so you can naturally see where the texture is. On the texture layer, we're going to take the clone stamp brush, a uh, flow of 70. We're going to make sure our brush is semi-hard. Anywhere between 65 to 75% is okay. Let's do 69, all right. And we're going to zoom in. And, oops, sorry, take that. We're also going to work on this texture layer here. Just the size of our brush to the areas that we want to clean. And we can just, you know, click. Start smoothing out any areas we want to. Smoothing out like those lines underneath the eyes. Just smoothing it out a bit. Take it here. Take up this line. so much faster if I was using a black on top of it, but hey. So it's that's it so that's basically how I do my frequency separation um, I hope this has been really helpful to you guys I'm going to leave the uh, link to my action below you guys can download it and use it all you want um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any more questions please leave a comment below and I'll catch you in the next one get it got it good